What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to solve the most annoying thing with computers. I'll be showing you how to unfreeze them, and specifically, how to unfreeze your Mac. Now, as great as Macintoshes are, yes, they still freeze as well. So what do you do? Well, usually, at least for me, there's really only one program that's causing the computer to freeze up. Only one program is an issue. So if I could just quit that, it all be great. However, it's not letting me quit it because it's frozen. So what do you do? Well, you go up to the Apple icon and you go down to force quit. And then you select the program that you want to force quit and then you simply hit force quit. So right here, I'm gonna force quit the terminal. And if that program is freezing up, it'll tell you uh, right here. But anyways, hit force quit and then confirm the force quit. You'll lose any unsaved changes. And then you can see down there, it's not running anymore. But the problem with going up to the Apple icon is if you're in a program that is locked up, when you go up to the top, you'll just see that beach ball spinning away and you won't be able to click on the Apple icon. Now, sometimes you can maneuver around and get into another application. And then when you go up here, you'll be able to go to force quit. But it'd be a lot better if you just had a quick keyboard shortcut that you could get to it with. And of course, there is a quick keyboard shortcut. So most likely, this is what you will do. You need to press Option, Command, Escape. So if you're not used to doing keyboard shortcuts like uh, my mom, she's very bad with them. Um, how I do them to make sure they always work is I hold down Option first, and you keep all these uh, held down. So you do Option, then you hold down Command, so you have two uh, keys held down, and then you tap Escape, and then it'll pop up. Real quickly, if you're not familiar with Option and Command and Escape, Option, uh, if you're using a Windows keyboard, Option would be Alt, and Command would most likely be the Windows key. Um, but most all of you are probably using Macs. Um, if you have any sort of recent Mac, recent keyboard, it'll be labeled Option and Command. But Option, like I said, is also Alt on some keyboards. Um, I've had a lot of questions over the years on what the Option key is. And Command, it'll have this symbol up on screen. It's also referred to as the Apple key in earlier Mac keyboards and Escape top left hand corner is the escape key usually has the abbreviation ESC on it. So anyways, once it's up uh, again, just select the program that is causing the problem and hit force quit and then confirm that you want to force quit it. And usually that'll actually unfreeze your Mac. There's very few instances when this doesn't work. So pretty much all your problems usually go back to just one program. You force quit it. Um, you can open it back up and go on your merry way. Also, if your Mac is being slow, uh, be sure to monitor how many programs you have open. So if you have multiple web browsers, iTunes, Spotify, iPhoto, iMovie, After Effects, I mean, if you have a lot of memory intensive programs, be sure to uh, close those out if you're not using them because that'll definitely cause your Mac to freeze up. Also, another thing that I thought of just now, be sure to check out the app Memory Clean. I'll show you the uh, active memory, wired, inactive, free, and also all the used memory. And then you can actually clean up that used memory so that it can then be available to use again. And so it's a really cool app. I use it a lot. Um, and it's just cool to see all your memory usage um, live on the spot like that. So I have a link down in the description below for where you can get Memory Clean. It's a free application. Definitely check it out. And uh, as you can see, it finished cleaning my memory, so I now have more free memory available. So really cool app, uh, especially if you're using a lot of memory intensive programs, be sure to check it out. So anyways, guys, hope this helped you out. Uh, this is the most annoying thing with computers uh, and hopefully it'll fix the help you fix the problem um, or at least be able to manage with it. And anyways, as always, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you want more cool Mac tutorials and things, uh, be sure to subscribe to my videos, like it if this helps you out, that uh, helps me out. And anyways, guys, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video sometime real soon. Later.